how to download and install maps in Minecraft 1.20.1. We're going to go over every single step of getting your maps from downloading them to installing them. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. Now, first things first, you need to download a map. And if you've already got a map downloaded, awesome. But if you don't have a map downloaded, here's how you can get them. In the description down below, we have a link to this. This is the best maps for Minecraft. And it goes over a ton of different sections of maps here. We're going to be going ahead and downloading a few maps. Now, you can see the version for each map is listed here. Generally, 1.20 maps will work in 1.20.1 without any problems. Usually, 1.19 maps will as well. I'm going to download this map just to show you what that will look like whenever you do download an older map. But as far as uh, this article goes, we do have all of the versions listed. We're going to do two maps here. We're going to do Floating Biomes as well as Radiant City, which we downloaded earlier, which we opened up earlier. This one is on Minecraft Maps here, so if we go ahead and scroll down, we will find the Download Map button, and when we click on that, the map starts downloading in the bottom left. You may need to keep or save it. Radiant City is the other one we're going to do here. This is actually on CurseForge, and on CurseForge, you want to go to Files. You can see the version on the left-hand side, and let's say this was available for 1.20 as well. You would see that over here, but it's not updated yet. But go ahead and click the three dots on the right-hand side and click Download File. While this is downloading, have a message from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Let's say you wanted to play a custom Minecraft map with this, your friends. Let's say you just wanted to take your Minecraft single-player world and add it to a Minecraft server. Well, it's all super simple and easy to do at Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash sgh to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. The server can be public, the server can be private, and yes, you can add any custom map or world to the server super easily. We have guides on how to do it, and if you have any issues, we have live chat support to help you out. So if you want to start your own server, whether you want to add mods to it, just play Minecraft Vanilla, or add in plugins, it's all supported, and we even have a one-click mod pack installer to make mod packs easy as well. Look no further than Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash sgh. Now our maps are both downloaded here, as you can see in the bottom left. Now what we want to do is go ahead and minimize our browser. Let's go ahead and move these to our desktop. They're going to be found in your downloads folder. Just search for downloads in the start menu. And you'll have a file folder here. And you can just go ahead and click on that to open up your downloads folder. Now in here we have floating biomes as well as RC or Radiant City. I'm going to drag these to our desktop because we do need to do some file prep before we can get these installed. What do I mean by that? Well, these are both .zip files, right? It does say .zip here, but even if it doesn't for you, it will have this zipped sort of icon. And if you hover over it, it will say compressed zipped folder. So what we want to do is go ahead and right click on these, go ahead and click extract all, and then go ahead and click extract. We want to do this for both of these maps. We'll let this one do first. Oh, I accidentally paused it. That's my bad. We want to do this for both of the maps. And then once they're done, then we want to make sure that the files are in the correct place. I'll show you what I mean. But first, let's go ahead and let this one finish. Then we can extract the other map we downloaded, floating biome. So we'll right click and extract all and click extract with that. Then once this one's finished, we have two new folders. The difference between these is you can see they don't have the zipped folder icons here. So let's go ahead and delete the two that we downloaded. Now we just have the two that are folders. Now when we open these, we want to immediately see folders called dim1, dim-1, region, things like that. We don't see that here. So we want to click again and boom, here we go. We have dim1, dim-1, we have the region folder. You may not have all of these, you might just have a few of these, but no matter what, you should probably have a region folder if nothing else. Once you get to this, go ahead and click the back arrow on the top left and drag this to your desktop. What we want to do is make sure that as soon as we open up the folder, we see these files and folders here. If you don't, this is not going to work in Minecraft, and you'll add the map like we're about to, and it's just not going to work. So we want to repeat that process again with floating biomes here. Boom, not here. Open this one. There it is. There's region, dim1, dim-1. Go ahead and drag this to our desktop. Now, in this case, we have two folders. One, which is the one that we downloaded which is right here, and then is this one that uh, we moved. So we want to make sure it's the one that we moved that does have all of the files and folders in there that is remaining on the desktop. Now let's go ahead and get these added to Minecraft. To do that, you want to open up the Minecraft launcher, and then once you're in the Minecraft launcher, it's super easy. We just need to navigate to our Minecraft folder. All you've got to do to do this is click on installations up at the top, and then hover over the latest release here. Then click the folder that appears on latest release, and it's going to open up your .minecraft folder. To install custom Minecraft worlds into to Minecraft, just come into the saves folder here and then drag and drop your worlds into the saves folder. Again, that was from the dot Minecraft folder. Go into saves and then drag and drop your worlds in here. Now, I would double check one more time that this is what you see. You see that region folder whenever you move your saves file. 
We see it there with that one, and we see it there with this one as well. If you don't see this right away, it will not work. The maps will not show up in Minecraft. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and play Minecraft, and we'll meet you on the main menu just to show you that the maps are working and that we can play them. So here we are in Minecraft. If from the main menu, we just want to click on single player, and here are our maps. We have floating biomes. We have Radiant City. Now, 1.20, 1.20.1 maps, you just double-click on them, and they work. As you can see, here we are. We can go ahead and start parkouring. However... What about older maps? Well, sometimes those just work as well. And that's the case here with Radiant City. It's reloading, but it just works. Occasionally, you will have to back up and load anyway, basically is what it's called, a map. Sometimes that will work. The map will work in the newest version without any problems. However, it is also possible it does not. It is actually very possible if you're converting an old, old map, let's say like a map from a very old version of Minecraft, it won't work at all. So if that's the case, you want to go ahead and make sure you just convert back to that version of Minecraft to play the map. Less and less common the newer you go. 1.18 maps probably going to work more okay in 1.20 than a 1.14 map in Minecraft. But with that being said, that's how you can download and install maps in Minecraft 1.20.1. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comments section down below. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.